What time is it? You know what time it is? It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction. Movie review started. All right, y'all. I went and saw the RRR movie. The day it came out, I think it was Friday, right? It came out Friday. So I went and saw it there and I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Let's talk about it because we got to go through all the stuff that happened. We have to go through it. But it's first based on, it's it's not a true story, right? It's about two different stories, fictional stories about Ram and then Beam. You know, they were revolutionaries. And and I guess the, the writer of this movie kind of read those stories and, and looked at all the similarities and they were like, well, what happens if we take these characters and make them friends during this time? I think that's what I read that it's, it kind of came about. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Cause you know, I don't, I, I just get my bits and pieces like from writing, but for those who have followed it more closely, I would like to know. The way it starts out, you know, the British. British always causing some problems up in the India. You know that? So now it was what, who, it was a governor Scott and his wife. They was, I guess, in town with the British and, and they were going to like the different tribes around in India. And they went to the one and uh, they had a little girl, Molly. The little girl, Molly was with uh, his wife, Catherine, the governor Scott's wife, Catherine. She was singing and stuff and, and a cute little girl. And Catherine was like, well, I want to take her with me. <laughs> That's what, first she paid money to the mom. She paid money and they gave the money to mom and they thought the money was going to like pay for the girl singing the whole time. But she's like, no, I'm paying cause I want her. And then the mom's like, oh no, you ain't taking my daughter. They just put her up in there. You know, put her up in the daughter in the car and was like, bye. And the mom's running after it. I'm like, what is going on? This is how the movie's starting. And then they're gonna stop. And, and the mom's there with the daughter and they're about to, sh to shoot her. And that governor, oh, this made me mad. That governor's like, do you know how much one of those bullets cost? How much, like this was like a, a theme throughout the movie. He's like, how much that bullet cost to make, to ship over here, to produce? And then he's like, that bullet, the amount of that bullet isn't worth the price to kill her, the mom. Find another way. He's like, save his bullets. Don't even use a bullet to kill her. Kill her, but don't waste a bullet. And then they kill her in front of the little girl. <sighs> I'm like, oh, already this is starting with some stuff. Already this is starting with some stuff. I'm over here upset, crying already. Why, our, our movie, why are you doing this to me already? So this story starts the story with Beam. This is like the two stories coming together because Beam is like the protector. Like this tribe that she took the little girl from is supposed to be real peaceful. Like they don't... They don't do anything, but they have a protector. And you saw him. He was running through the forest. Tigers trying to get him. He's good. He is like <laughs> a protector. Who is it? Oh, that's Beam. They called him Beam. I was like, oh, that's a good name for a protector. Beam. <laughs> just like the Mahabharat. That's why I was like, just like Beam and Mahabharat. He's the protector. So they got Beam here, the protector. And he he was like, oh, no, we're getting her back. He He's like, all right, let me go. I'm used to fighting the tigers in the forest and everything, but let me go in and get this girl back. And then they got Ram, and he works for the British. At first, you don't know why. You're like, why is he working for the British? What's going on with the Ram over there? He's all right, but like, he's like sticking up for the British. Like when when they were at the facility and and every and the crowd was going crazy. Remember this? The crowd was going crazy. I think it was they're going crazy because they kidnapped that little girl. And then they starting to do some stuff like, you know, the crowd's getting out of hand and, and, uh, that ram, he, <laughs> I watched him. He was like, he jumped over the fence and the barbed wire and got in the crowd. I was like, oh, he's a goner. Cause that crowd started coming in on him and, and he pushed him out the way. And he, I was like, well, that right there shows that ram has got some skills. Like he has got some fighting skills. He got, he's brave, like all of this. But he made an impact with that with that governor right then. And I think that's kind of was his goal because he wanted, like, he has his own story. I don't know. Like, they don't tell you at first, but his own story is, you know, he was in a village. 
this you find out this later on you find out at first you're mad at him for doing all this stuff you're like why are you helping the 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 british with everything but then you find out like when he was young his dad kind of did the same thing like was kind of a revolutionary of his time you know his dad was like in the british army but then they showed this scene that uh the governor was it the governor or different i think it was I don't know. It couldn't be the same governor. It must be a different. But it was the same thing. A man was going to be killed in his town. Or no. The, the, a man was, an Indian man was going to be killed. And, and his dad was on the British Army. And they did the same thing. They were like, you're going to shoot him with a bullet? You know how much that bullet costs? How much it costs to make it this way over here? And, and, and how much, you know, you're going to waste a bullet? The price of the bullet on this man? So then they beat him. But then his dad saw this happen. He was like, oh no. He wasn't standing by. He was in that army, uh, the, the British army. He took he took his gun. He took his box full of bullets and he went home. He was like, oh no, I'm going to train my people. This ain't right. We got to protect ourselves. And the, and the British came and I don't want to tell you all that happened. I don't want to spoil everything for this. <laughs> but I'm just saying his dad was a revolutionary like that. And they killed them, you know? I mean, the British came and they're gonna attack the village and everything. But then he made a promise that, you know, to his dad that he was gonna arm everybody in that village. So his main objective over there, undercover, is to get weapons for, like, that's his goal for the village. William's over there with the undercover with the British army, right? And then here comes Beam in town to rescue that Molly, Molly or what, what her name is. And apparently they were friends this childhood. Like, I didn't understand too much about their friendship growing up. Because I was like, aren't they in different villages? Like, what's going on here? How do they know each other? How are they friends? I couldn't pick that up at, at that time. But also, movie theater was messing up. Yeah, the screen was messing up. So they could have had me missing, like, that little part of it. I'm glad it wasn't the other parts I was missing. Because, you know, they, they had their friendship. And, and he didn't tell, Bean didn't tell him while he was there. He didn't tell him until... His friend got like bit by the snake. <laughs> you know, Ram got bit by the snake and he's like, you know, bringing him life. And he's like, I'm sorry I lied to your friend, but I got to go save this girl. And he's over here recovering from the snake. So then D Beam's got this whole plot. He, he shows up at this governor's like big fancy place. You know, they're having some kind of ball and, and he storms in and you're like, oh, he's just going to fight everybody. Just him and, and, this, and this truck that he stormed in on. Then he unleashed everything and and tigers and lions start flying out of there. I was like, he's got his own animal army. <laughs> then here comes Ram gonna show up. I was like, Ram, why couldn't you just be like, I was sick, I got bit by a snake. Like, why do you have to show up and do this? I know you already made a good impression with your with your with your British governor guy. He's already got he like it was his plan. He's gonna give you you know the weapons and everything. Well, I don't know if he agreed then, but I mean, all right, that's your thing with it. But you were bit by a snake. You got an excuse. Why are you gonna be showing up fighting your friend? And he like they went at it back and forth, back and forth. And I'm I I'm telling you, I'm cheering for Beam. I don't know anybody else who'd be like, I'm cheering for the Ram. Although, you know, he's like, well, I don't know. At that time, you don't know what, like, his plot of being a good guy. But even if I knew it, I'd still be cheering for the Beam. Because I was like, that, Ram, you can't stop this. Well, he stopped it and he caught Beam. They was fighting back and forth, so they like Beam up. They like the Beam up. Then they're like, I'm going to flog him. And then they got to have his friend, Ram, up there with him on the post. I was upset. I was upset he's flogging his friend, wanting him to kneel. He even tried to help him. He even, like, pulled that the chain out from under him to try to get them to kneel, to pretend like he was kneeling while he, while he was flogging him. And then they were like, he ain't kneeling because he, he, he didn't put his knees down. I was like, Beam, I know. It's your pride and all that stuff, like, and you're strong. But I was like, just kneel. <laughs> that would be me. I was like, just, or, or when you fell, at least just put your... Then, oh, I was, oh, this put made me sick to my stomach. Because then that, what was, it wasn't the Governor Scott, but it was the lady. What was her name? Uh, Catherine. She's going to throw the, this whip down like, well, we'll, we'll flog him with this. And it was this whip that had these spikes on it. 
that ju- I just there was I had to turn my head then I did I was like I had to turn my head I was like I can't watch this this is gonna make me sick to my stomach he starts flogging him with that he starts hitting him with that and he's begging him please stop oh, I was sick to my stomach I was well then at least like he's noticing the crowd He's noticing the crowd because they're all going crazy. They're like, they're starting to revolt against him. They're doing this to man. You know, he's just wanting to save that little girl, Molly, and he's doing this. And he and 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 then it clicks in, in Ram's head. He was like, oh, he's a bigger weapon than anything. The, would he in, invoke some people, you know? Would he, you know, the, the passion he brings out in people just by his actions? And so then that's when he knew. He's like, I got to save him. I was like, that's when you knew, not when he's your friend and all this. That's when he knew he got to save him. And that's, I think that's about the time he got, that letter said he was going to get weapons too. And then they had his girlfriend or, or fiance or whatever, and he's writing her, you know, like we got the weapons and, but uh, you know, I, I, I we're going to, I, he tells her, I got, I think he tells her the story about what happens with, with uh, his friend. And how bad he feels. And then they're going to hang his friend or kill him the next day. And and then he strikes the plan. <laughs> he strikes the plan because he went out there. And he's in this car. And, and I felt like that governor knew because that governor kept watching him. And he's looking back. Well, he has this whole plan. And, and he he eventually saved Beam. But Beam don't even know because he's trying to save him. And he's even shooting this guy that's trying to kill Beam. He's even like shooting at him and stuff. And Beam thinks he's shooting at him. And Beam's over there fighting him, trying to get away with the Malia. Not knowing that Ram's actually trying to save him. And he gets away and, and Ram's watching him get away. Well, then they take Ram and, and torture him and everything. Beating him up. But so bad they're, they're beating at his knees. He can't walk and, and putting him in this hole. Well, well, and then me, I was like... I mean, I feel bad for, I was like, no, get, get out of there, Ram, get out of there. But then I'm like, well, at least, you know, Beam and the little girl got away. And they're hiding out because they're looking for him, those British. They are looking for them. And that's when they, then, then what, what is, what is the coincidence? What is the coincidence that they meet uh, Ram's girlfriend, what is her name, Sita? Was it Sita? They meet her and she figures out you know that they're together like well and beam does too because he looks at like her necklace or whatever and, he, and they have the other half and he notices it that's his friends and and they all put it together and she tells him what really happened so she's informed beam then beam starts like getting upset he's like oh you know that was my friend and and realizes he did try to help him and everything but then i was like well you can't don't feel too bad beam because he was over there flogging you how you gonna know how are you going to know he was over there to help you? Because he was over there hitting you with the spikes on the whip. But he went and saved him. <laughs> he went and saved him. This what I don't understand, though. So he's in this hole in the ground, and here comes Bean sneaking around, trying to find him, hitting, being as quiet as he can. Then he finds him, right? I was like, Bean, you couldn't have done this a little more undercover. You got undercover all the way to get there. But then he's like, forget it. And he just grabs that thing and pulls it, makes the loudest noise. And, and everybody hears him like escape, you know, trying to get Ram out. He puts Ram, because, you know, Ram's knees are all hurt. He puts him on his shoulders. <laughs> I like this part. He puts Ram on his shoulders and they fight. And everything. He's got guns on his shoulders and they're running. He's fighting people on his shoulders and they go to the woods. And they're like, all right, get these people. Get these people. Like, that governor was like, go get them, you know. Get your best men. So they're in the woods, hiding out or fighting with, with them and everything. But then I was like, all of a sudden there, Ram had to be on his shoulders because his knees were bad and everything. But now he can walk. <laughs> now he can walk. He done changed clothes, got his arrows, and they're they're fighting in the forest. I mean, of course it's going to be a happy ending. Of course it's going to be a happy ending on this. Because you know with them two fighters. With them two fighters, they ain't gonna they got they gonna take charge. I mean they, they even used their weapons against them because they had the one guy and what and Ram found like the, the grenades, right? And he took the grenade on his arrows and he was shooting them and hitting the targets and everything. And so that, that last, you know, that last fight, I mean that was an epic fight. That was a, well, my favorite fight of all is when all the tigers when beam let all the tigers out and everything yeah when beam let all the tigers out and everything i was like well that's the best and then they're gonna bring that big old fight with the shoulders and stuff but i'm like all right sometimes y'all aren't realistic 
Sometimes these scenes aren't a little realistic. You couldn't, you couldn't walk. You had to have them on your shoulders. And now he's running around the jungle, you know, with the arrows, with, with the grenades. But it's still great entertainment. Well, I don't know how much realistic the lion and everything, having them jump out the cages and stuff either. But it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, like, the story most of all. Because, I mean, that's, it's always a good story fighting the British. You know, gaining independence, because those British did them wrong. Like, they even showed in the beginning how they killed the mom in front of the little girl, stole the little girl. I mean, it just showed you, like, the good. It was a story of, like, good versus evil. I mean, these are good guys. That, that tribe was peaceful. That was their protector. But, you know, they are peaceful, good people. And then here comes evil. It's, it's one of those stories like that. I thought the acting was good. I mean, the fight scenes, and, but that guy, who's the guy that plays the ram? I mean, I like both of them. Both of them great. But I thought the guy, you can just really see. Because he had to play so many parts. He had to play undercover. So he had to play, pretend that, you know, he's with the British and everything. But then the pain he feels with seeing his friend go through that. And, and, and even like a sense of like betrayal of, of his people at times, you know, because he had to pretend to be on the British side. So I thought he did great. Um, I also noticed, what is that girl that played the Sia? Sita, Alia Bhatt. I saw the name, but she, I recognize from her from something. What do I recognize her from? Like, what is she most known that I'm like, oh, that's that girl. Because I recognize her face, but I couldn't place it. I know her name now. Look, I just looked it up. Maybe I can I look and look it. But there's like, she looks so familiar to me from something else I've seen or or a story that was out about her. I'm gonna have to look deeper into that. And then uh, the guy who played the beam, I mean, he did good too. He did good. I, I, I especially like what, just at the beginning when he's running through the forest and, and, the, and the animals coming after him and everything. That was, that was like intense moments. But also I was just like cheering. I was like, look at him. And well, the, the good thing about this movie, because when I first said, you know, I'm going to watch it, people were like, oh, is it in English or whatever? But they had a lot of mixture in this. I think because they had the British there, they had like a lot of dialogue that was in English, but then they have the subtitles for the other stuff. So I wasn't like worried. I was, whenever we watch a movie over here in the States, that's a foreign film, they always will have the subtitles. So I was able to, you know, understand what was going on there no worries but it was good it was good and a lot of these films I mean it's three hours long and for a Hollywood movie that is like the people are like three hours long I can't even what you know but three hours long we had a nice intermission and it flew by it didn't even seem that long to me I thought you know the 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 story was great it, it tore you know it tore up my heartstrings it had me bawling at times and crying and cheering and and it kept me engaged I felt like there wasn't like any parts where I, I was bored or already I mean the whole story of three hours on I was into it so yes I enjoyed it I thought it was a great film I'm gonna have I you know this weekend was about going to the movies and seeing my Indian flicks this was on Friday then I'm gonna have another you know movie review coming up probably tomorrow of the Kashmir Files I went and saw so it was a busy weekend I enjoyed it this was, I'm glad I went and saw this one. I know it did great at the box office this weekend, which I'm like, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. So it's probably well deserved. All right, y'all, let me know what you think. If you saw it, let me know what you think of it. If you want to see it or anything like that, let me know. Just comment below, comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.